Hey guys and welcome to another one. So today I am going to be showing you a basic tutorial on how to use VS Player from Hikvision. So what exactly is VS Player? So VS Player is a video um, editing and playing back tool that you can use to download your Hikvision CCTV footage on and be able to view and edit your, your footage. Okay, so for example, you might have uh, had a break in or something bad happened and you want to take a clip send it to the police or send it to someone um, who, who, who needs it. Okay, so there's a, a couple of different methods how you can download the footage. Today we we'll just plug in a USB drive in there um, and we're gonna go through all the methods from downloading that footage onto your PC, downloading the software, and then we're gonna be looking at some of the basic features. So some of those basic features include you can be able to clip the videos, merge the videos, uh, convert them into a file that might work on your video player. So for example, you download the, the footage from your HitVision uh, DVR, it might not work on your regular video player. So VS Player is gonna work, but um, when, you, when you, you can convert it into MP4 and then you'll be fine. Okay, so other things we'll be doing is being able to add privacy mask and password, protect your files. Okay, so all coming up in today's video. Uh, hope you enjoy it and I'll catch you in a sec. Thanks. Okay, so let's go ahead and download VS Player now. I'm gonna leave a link in the description, but for now we're just gonna do it the old fashioned way and Google it. So uh, you can Google VS Player like this, or there's one word, uh, it doesn't really matter. But what we wanna do is go to the Hikvision website, not the European website, uh, and we're the tool where it says high tools, okay? Uh, there's a couple of different versions here. So we've got x64 and x86, but as you see, x86, is a uh, version 7.446 now this is the version we want okay so there are many different versions out there of vs player and if you want to get all the features because you'll, you'll see that uh, some versions don't have all the features for some reason i'm not too sure why uh, but this one does have them all and uh, this is the one we're going to be using okay so i will leave a link in the description uh, but let's go ahead and download that okay and you've got the mac version here as well okay but this is uh this is going to be for windows pc okay so as you see it's going to take a little while to download six minutes but luckily i have uh downloaded it earlier so let's go to our download files okay so we've got the version here so let's go ahead and install it yes okay just go next it's pretty easy to install okay make sure you've got format converter installed um, if you don't have the, the same version of this, you might not see this box, but uh, we want that. Okay, all right, straightforward. Okay, let's go ahead and launch VS Player. We've got a link on the desktop as well. Okay, here we go. So now we're going to go ahead and download some footage from our, our DVR and then we can uh, edit, edit the footage using VS Player. All right, stay tuned, see you in a sec. So we're on our DVR now, and this is our live 4K camera. So let's go to the playback and we can now take off some footage and then we'll be able to edit it later, okay? So under playback, we'll find our camera. All right then, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take off an hour's worth of footage, just find something maybe during the day, it's a bit easier to edit. Okay. So let's try from about 7.30. Okay, that looks nice enough. All right, and so what we're going to do is take off an hour's worth of footage and put it onto our USB stick, which I just uh, plugged into the DVR. Okay, so to do this, we go clip. Okay, and then we go clip time and we start. So Tuesday at 7.30. And then we're going to do it to 8.30. Okay. Oops. All right, so there are other ways of doing this. You don't have to plug in, if you, if you don't have access to your DVR or you don't have a USB drive, you can access the DVR via PC. Okay, so it's pretty straightforward to do it. And then you can download the footage direct to your PC. So I will leave a link below in the description 
on 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 uh, how to do this because I've made a video and I'm just showing you how to do it on a USB today. Okay, but it can be done on a PC. Okay, so that's our hours of footage. So we go okay, and then we got exports, right? We got export. Okay, it's found my USB drive. And then we click on okay. All right then. Then at the top here, you see now it's downloading the chunks of footage onto our USB drive. Okay, so now we're going to go edit those and uh, look at them, play them back, and I'll show you how to use VS Player. So I'm going to fast forward now and go back to VS Player. And by that time, these should be down, uh, downloaded, and we'll get going then. See you in a sec. All right, so I have now transferred all my files that I downloaded off our DVR onto our PC. So I just pop them in a folder so it's a bit faster to use than coming off the USB drive. So let's load up our VS Player. Okay, before I load up the files, let's quickly check out a couple of settings. So you can see here the, the version I'm using. And just one basic setting we have to check. So under capture, when we take a screenshot, I'm just going to make sure our VS Player folder is selected. Okay, so apply and OK. Now we want to view the files, so we just grab the files here and we can drag them into the playlist. And for example, we want camera one to go. Okay, so we've got one camera here. We can go through the footage nice and smooth when you've got one camera. All right, so we have a zoom button up here as well, so we can click on the zoom. Now you can use the mouse wheel to, to zoom in, or you could just draw a box, for example. Okay, let's go out of the zoom. Okay, now we have a capture as well, so we go do a screenshot. So, for example, maybe this guy's dodgy, no offense to this guy, uh, but we take a snapshot. Okay, that's done, and then we can go see the snapshot. So it's on our VS Player folders, and there we go, we have our picture taken of that event. All right, so these are just some basic features, and now we can go multi screen as well. So if you want to find uh, some footage, maybe you're not sure where it is, we can just drag these folders on here, and we have got a multi view going. You could just scroll through the time on each video. So there's some basic settings. Now we're going to go into a few more advanced things like editing, joining, and uh, putting privacy masking and things like that on our video. Stay, stay tuned. All right then, so now we're going to show you how to clip a file, merge files, and convert them into a format that um, can be used by most media players. So first of all, I'm going to show you how to clip a file. So let's go to our VS player under this uh, briefcase icon. We've got clip. So we go here. And first of all, the saving path, I'm just going to choose our normal VS player file, file folder. Okay, and then let's open a file. All right, it's already found our downloaded file, so we just select one. I'm just going to clip a random bit of footage, just a minute long. Okay, so um, uh, one minute one, that will do. So we go clip, and now it's cutting out that one minute footage out of the video. So we go OK. Let's go find that. All right then, so here it is. So let's load onto VS Player. And there's our nice little one minute footage uh, clipped and separate now from the main file. But now we might want to view this on a normal player. So for example, you're sending it to someone who doesn't have VS Player. I mean, most people won't have it. So let's see what happens when you just open it and say VLC. OK. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work, I'm not going to lie. And most of the time the audio won't work or you get some sort of interference. Right now it's not too bad, but other, sometimes it really, it really does struggle. So what we need to do is convert it into a folder, into a file that, that is more compatible um, with most media players. Okay, so get rid of that. Now we're going to go to convert. So we click on the convert icon and we drag this file in here. So, what we want to do, first of all, select the, the folder we're going to save it into, as usual, our VS folder, select that. Now, we have to choose our target format. So, I like MP4, so you go MP4, and you see the resolution is staying at 4K, and the bitrate and everything, that, that's all the same. 
So that should be good. And then we just go start. And now it's converting our file into a more compatible format. Okay, so now this is our, our new one. So this should work smoothly now on, on most media players, okay? Now, final part of this section is I'm gonna show you how to merge the files. So for some reason, um, you, well, you've got a couple of clips together and you want to merge them together into a bit of a, a collage or, or whatever you want to do or take all the, the raw files and put them all together to make one big file. That can be done. All right. So what I'm going to do first of all is clip another file. So we've got two clips and I'm going to merge them together. So let's clip another file. Let's use this one. Just get a random clip. Okay, clip. So now we've got two clip files. Okay, put it on the desktop, put it back here. So we've got two clip files here, now let's merge them together. So we go to merge, and see we can't drag them in here, we just go add, VS file. So we go here, and here, open. Okay, so it's found the files, and now we just go, okay, we want to select our VS folder again. Select this and we go start. Merging complete. That was nice and quick. So now we should have a, a file that's about two meters, uh, two minutes long. Let's check it out. Yep. So one minute fifty six is merged the two files together, and that's done. So we've got one more little section coming up, and I'm going to show you how to put privacy masking on your video. So just for example, you want to send it to somebody else, so you don't want them to see certain footage, and we can pass or protect our files as well. All coming up in a sec. So coming to the end of our video now, I'm just going to quickly show you how to password protect files and add some privacy masking. But first of all, I'm just going to clip a little 10 second clip and so it doesn't take too long to convert. So let's open up a file. Any of these would do. I'm just going to make a quickly, make a quick small file. Okay, eight seconds long, that will do. So we go clip. Okay, done in a second. Now we're gonna go to hit our briefcase icon and click on privacy mask. Let's just open up the file we just made. Okay, this will be the short one, six megabytes. All right, so this is our privacy masking area. So as you see here, we've got remove or add privacy mask. We wanna add privacy mask. So for example, I want to uh, blur out uh, maybe the license plate of a car, but we haven't got any here. So let's just stick with uh, maybe this this writing up here. Okay, for those of you familiar with privacy masking on DVRs, this is not exactly the same as that. For a start, on, on a DVR, you can draw a box and it can block it out. On here, you have to draw lines or, or pixels. So for example, I'm holding down my left mouse button and I'm just drawing a straight line across. And I'm gonna draw try and draw a straight line downwards and then across and then you can just fill it in so it's a little bit tricky but um, it does work but this is not the same type of privacy masking on a DVR so you're expecting to see maybe a completely black image there no this is more like a blur a very fine blur so you know, I'll show you again that I'll show you the final results in a second all right and then we now we can password protect it so I'm just gonna put in a password And let's choose our saving path. I'm just going to choose my desktop now because the files are getting a bit messy. And export. All right, so while that's converting, I'm just going to quickly uh, say thanks for watching. And if you guys uh, did, did enjoy this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you are an installer and you're interested in Hikvision products, please feel free to contact us and we can set you up an account. All right, now that's done. Let's find the file and add it on here. As you can see now, it's locked. That means we can't see the file, it's password protected. Let's try and load it up onto our player. All right, so pop in a password. And now we can view the file. 
So I uh, see our privacy masking here. All right, you can still read the writing, but as you see, it is, it is a lot more blurred. I mean, you might want to find a different bit of software if you really wanted to, to hide it, but it, it will work for faces and things like that. So that comes to the end of our video. Uh, it's a little round off of VS Player. So if you have missed anything out, guys, please feel free to leave a message. And thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers. Bye.